Toxic is a mechanic that's been adjusted from Infect for a few very good reasons, primarily being these cards, Tainted Strike, Triumph of the Hordes, and Blightsteel Colossus. These are out-of-nowhere win cards in Commander, something you can drop and turn what was supposed to be a 40 damage clock into a 10 damage clock. Toxic, on the other hand, was introduced as an alternative. There are no toxic gotchas that suddenly give somebody 10 plus poison counters. Or are there? Venerated Rot Priest here is a neat little one mana toxic creature, but he's got the very interesting line of text that says, whenever a creature you control becomes the target of a spell, target opponent gets a poison counter. Now that gets my brewer brain going. Note that it doesn't say an opponent targets our creatures with a spell. So can we turn Rot Priest's ability into a one turn out of nowhere win with poison? The answer is a resounding yes. In testing this deck, I've been able to pull off multiple instances of taking an opponent out in a single turn, or even taking all opponents out in a single turn. Let me show you the deck. But first, remember to like this video, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, and if you want to join the pit crew, ring that bell for my latest brews. Now, for this deck, I needed consistent access to Venerated Rot Priest, a creature in my 99. And who is the king of hidden commanders? Why, Rocco Cabaretti Caterer. This Naya, red, green, white, elf druid, lets you pay X mana when you cast them to go tutor a creature into play. Since Rot Priest is only a single mana, Rocco is just four mana to go get him into play. There are other ways of finding Rot Priest in the deck too, like Court of Calling, for instance. If you absolutely need to get Rot Priest out at instant speed, this one's your best bet. But with Rocco in our command zone, we basically always have access to Rot Priest when we need it. Now, clearly, this deck has to go wide. Rot Priest relies on you targeting creatures with spells to bestow poison counters. So the deck is very token creature heavy. We have creatures in the 99 that generate tokens like Kadira, Collar of the Small, Cranko, Tin Street Kingpin, and Tendershoot Dryad, all aiming to make us a small army for us to target with spells. Speaking of spells, we have plenty of spells that make tokens, like Call the Copper Coats, Artifact and Aura Mutation, and Secure the Wastes. These are all instant speed ways to make us a boatload of tokens to untap with. Grand Crescendo is a great inclusion here too, essentially doing everything Secure the Waste does, but with the upside of also being a gotcha spell, blanking an opponent's board wipe by giving our creatures indestructible. But let's not forget token generating enchantments too, like Rabble Rousing, with the ability to double our creature count each turn, to Skrelv's Hive, White's not quite answer to Bitter Blossom. These provide steady and consistent access to tokens over time, growing our potential pool of creatures to target spells with. Add in token doublers like the classics Parallel Lives, Doubling Season, and Anointed Procession, and all of these token generating spells and creatures get turned up to 11 fast. With the new Mondrak Glory Dominus from All Will Be One in our arsenal too, we have a potentially indestructible source of token doubling that can attack and block. Wacky. Alright, at this point you're thinking, Chris, this is a pretty basic Naya go wide deck. Make a ludicrous amount of tokens and swing for the win. And to that I say, pfft. Combat is for the uninspired. We want a token army, but largely just to trigger card draw like Welcoming Vampire or Rite of Harmony or Tokash's Welcome, and to be the target of spells to trigger Rot Priest. What spells? Well, spells that target everything. There's this old cycle of spells from Legend, Dwarven Song, Heaven's Gate, and Sylvan Paradise. They don't do much, just turn creatures into the color of the spell, but they do have the magic phrase, any number of target creatures. See where this is going? With spells that target any number of creatures, and a multitude of creatures, we can be using Rot Priest and this suite of one mana spells to eject opponents from the game. With just 10 creatures, shockingly easy in this deck, these spells are one mana win cons. With 30 creatures, again, entirely possible, it's one mana to infect out each and every opponent at once. But those three spells aren't the only ones that do this, no. This wouldn't be a consistent deck without some more redundancy like Scapegoat and Leave of Leave to Chance. These return any number of target creatures or permanents to our hand. Not great when those permanents are tokens and cease to exist when they're in our hand, but if we're using them to win the game, then that matters very little. There is also the much more deadly and costly Descent of Dragons, which destroys any number of target creatures and turns them into 4-4 flying dragons. 
We are very easily able to generate an army of tokens at the end of an opponent's turn, untap, cast Rocco to get Rot Priest, and then cast any one of these spells for just a single mana to either delete a single opponent from the game or win the game outright. Here's a practical example from my testing with the deck. Between Mana Dorks and Ramp Spells, I managed a turn 3 Tendershoot Dryad. It stuck around for 2 turns before eating a Beast Within, but by that time I had 9 creatures out. I untapped on turn 5 and cast Rocco to fetch Rock Priest. I was then able to cast both Dwarven Song and Leave, each targeting each of my creatures, and eliminated 2 players out of nowhere. The third player very swiftly conceded. That was one of the fastest instances of taking out players out of nowhere that I've ever pulled off outside of a Thassa's Oracle combo or a Triumph of the Hordes. And don't get me wrong, it would be easy to put a Triumph of the Hordes in this deck and pull off almost the exact same thing. But that's not the point. The point is to do something unexpected. Here's another instance that came up in playtesting. The game had gone on for a while, and with a lot of board wipes, players were largely undefended, myself included. I had played a land and passed on my turn with everything untapped, but at the end of my opponent's turn before my next one, I cast Rite of Harmony and secure the Wastes, making 12 tokens and drawing 12 cards. I untapped, cast Artifact Mutation making 4 more tokens, Second Harvest, doubling all of my tokens, Rocco to fetch Rot Priest, and a single Heaven's Gate targeting my now 30 plus creatures, giving each opponent at least 10 poison counters. No haste, no combat step, no warning. Gotcha. I think this deck is actually a lot of fun, and I hope you do as well. Your playgroup might not, but you definitely will. Check out the full list linked below thanks to my sponsor Moxfield. Moxfield is the best deck building platform in the world. Be sure to follow my profile while you're over there. Check out these other videos too. Be sure to like and subscribe, and as always folks, good luck and have fun.